first big question is, uh, mm -hmm. if you don't mind, Shkolka. How much are you out of pocket uh, on your eight-year journey to find a good wife? You know, today we have the privilege of sitting with a young man here that... Uh, <laughs> that <guy. laughs> okay. Good morning, Colin. Good morning. Good morning. We're sitting uh, in a nipply morning here in the autumn in Sumy, Ukraine with this bloke, Colin, from Australia. And Colin has been good enough uh, to spill his guts here in this video. I uh, hope it doesn't hurt too much, Colin. Yeah, well, me too. Uh, and, you know, reveal all the costly mistakes he's made on his eight-year journey to find a Slavic w w wife. And he's going to even roll up the sleeve and show us a few battle scars. <laughs> and give us his pearls of wisdom. Um, show us uh, the proven shortcut. Uh, on how uh, you can be successful coming to Ukraine and avoid these landmines, hopefully. So again, welcome, Colin. Thank, Thank you. you for spilling your guts. Yeah, I'll try. I'll try. <laughs> uh, so I guess first big question is, uh, if you don't mind, Shkolka, uh -huh. how much are you out of pocket uh, on your eight-year journey to find a good wife? It, it's too frightening, and I stopped adding it up, actually. So uh -huh. 50K plus. 50k plus. Uh, That's Greek Dollars. Dollars. US dollars. US dollars. Uh -huh, yeah. Uh -huh. 50 grand. So, plus. It can be plus. You're emphasizing the plus a lot. I stopped. Uh -huh. I stopped. It was too scary. And, uh -huh. uh, yeah. And it's yesterday, so uh, I'm moving forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you're successful. Uh, now, yeah. you have an amazing, your Marina, I gotta tell you, is amazing lady. Yeah. You did really well. She's so genuine and pure, and she obviously loves you. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. you did well. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. You did. Uh, so, what to say about, the, oh, oh yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. Is it the money, the 50k plus, that's um, the hardest part of this journey, the lessons learned? No. or? No. Uh, what's the hardest no. part? The hardest part is the, uh, you know, the, the physical and emotional battering to the male ego. That's, that's the hardest part. Mm -hmm. um, I think anybody that's coming to look for a partner, you know, a relationship, um, is, is putting their emotions and they're, they're putting themselves out there, they're putting their soul out there, and for someone to take advantage of that, that's, that's the worst part, mm -hmm. uh, definitely. Mm -hmm. So the heartache, basically. Yeah. And the time. Yeah, yeah, the time, definitely. Mm -hmm. and especially once you get up a little bit in years, yeah. It mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. becomes well, important. We're all on borrowed time, aren't we? So. Oh, well, you only got one life, so <laughs> what are you going to do? Are you going to waste it or are you going to use it wisely? So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. so if you could have if you could have shortcutted your eight years uh, mm -hmm. into, you know, fast-tracked your success, yeah. I guess my biggest question is, what is the biggest pearl of wisdom, the big takeaway uh, that you have. Uh, like if guys forget everything from this video or yeah. if they pause or go away from this video yeah. after this tip that you're going to give, yeah. what's the biggest takeaway? Uh, actually pretty simple. Find someone that's been there and done that. All right, Someone that's going to help you, someone that's going to guide you, someone that's already failed basically mm -hmm. uh, and learn from their experience, learn from their lessons. Mm -hmm. You know, um, That's what I said to you a number of days ago. Mm -hmm. I wish you were around eight years ago, mm -hmm. you know, I would have saved a lot of time, mm -hmm. I would have saved a lot of money. Mm -hmm. uh, no doubt about that whatsoever. So using someone well, else's experience. Thanks for that vote of confidence. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. it's, it's um, justified. So. Yeah. I, I mean, uh, the reality is this is such a difficult journey uh, to go alone, isn't it? Well, it is, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Um, to have to reinvent the wheel, to have to figure everything out on your own. It's, yeah. It's, it's possible. I was going to say it's damn near impossible, but of course, it's possible. But you've got to reinvent the wheel. You've got to figure out everything on your own, and that's very yeah. costly and time-consuming. Look, I was a, not so much a loner, but you know, I was a long-distance truck driver. I was on my own a lot of the time, and mm -hmm. I was used to doing things on my own. Mm -hmm. um, um, and when I started this journey, uh -huh. you know, uh, it was on my own, basically, on the advice of a another friend who'd tried it and actually been successful, uh, but not looking at Eastern Europe, he was looking at Asia in his particular case. And um, yeah, I tried it and I thought I was getting somewhere. It was certainly a fantastic boost to the male ego to have all these beautiful young women. All these beautiful, so you started chasing in, in yeah. fantasy land, as I call it, on uh, the paper letter sites. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Emails. Maybe, maybe, maybe speak a little bit to that if you could. Uh, look, I mean, that's how all of us pretty much begin yeah. our j journey, drooling at the mouth over yeah. these young hotties. Yeah. 
way uh, outside <laughs> reality. Uh, reality. Yeah. 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 Um, now we understand that hindsight is twenty twenty, as they say. Well, you know, I mean, as I said, we're vulnerable because we're chasing a particular thing in our life. Back to PPL scams. Yeah. Uh, so. If, if that's not the biggest waste of time and money, I mean, I was on so many different websites, I don't even remember the names of them, and I had all these emails every day coming to me, and oh, it does, it makes you feel fantastic. It makes you feel great, and you think, somebody wants me. Yeah. Well, know? somebody 25, 30 years younger. Name Igor. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> Name Igor, yeah. <laughs> that's the going ongoing match guarantee joke, because mm. uh, Tony, uh, who works for us, uh, yeah, he knows a guy named Igor. Mm -hmm. That uh, oh, okay. He knows a guy named Igor that oh. works for one of the big bohemists, and we spoke about it on camera yesterday. Oh, okay. And he told the story of Ego or Igor, who works for them for five years, and that's who you're writing to. He manages yeah. many beautiful young profiles, yeah. and uh, yeah. uh, so it, it is literally Igor talking to you when you think you're writing this beautiful picture. Mm -hmm. um, she doesn't even know you exist. Yep. Yep, Siegel or Vasily or Boris or Bogdan or, yeah, it's somebody else, anyway. And Sasha was on camera the other day, uh, our former police officer cop who's heading uh, Match Guarantee Private Detective Service, which we started because so many guys have been scammed so bad and they just, even though we give a free scammer check, it's not conclusive, you know. Uh, we analyze a lot of parameters, but it's not 100% conclusive. And guys, some guys are it just scammed be. so bad and their heart's so invested, they just gotta know 100%. Yeah. Uh, so he was saying, uh, Sasha, that uh, maybe 1% of girls on these international online dating sites are real. Mm -hmm. Yeah, finding the genuine ones is the hard part. Mm -hmm. Like finding that's a diamond sure. in the haystack. Yeah, well, yeah. it doesn't work, that's the facts. I mean, the percentages are going against you, mm -hmm. so um, um, if you can take a shortcut, it's get rid of the emails, because uh, yeah. they are, they're just a waste of time and money. Yeah, mm -hmm. good tip. <laughs> Colin, let me ask you this. Uh, in your vast experience in Ukraine, coming here for eight years mm -hmm. and hitting a lot of landmines, being scammed uh, by agencies, by ladies, mm -hmm. uh, why do you think only the select few guys are successful here while most crash and burn? Most get, most get scammed. Very few guys end up going home with the lady. Yeah, look, there's a simple answer to that. Um, the guys that are unsuccessful uh, are following their egos and they're not being realistic. You know, that's it, that's it in a nutshell. They're not being realistic. You know, the guys that are successful, they've been realistic and yeah. they've f fitted with your... The zone of success. That's it, that's yep. it. Yep. 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 They're within their zone of success yep. as we've um, come up at Match Guarantee with the formula of success. Yeah. When I sat down with Tatiana and I said, how is it over 16 years you've been so outrageously successful with mm. uh, your foreign men clients? Mm. Why are your clients successful, whereas most in the industry are not? Mm. And we literally came up with the five-point zone of success. And uh, uh, you just nailed it, basically. Yeah, and well, that's all realistic. Well, why weren't you around eight years ago when I started this Sorry, journey, you know? <laughs> uh, basically, it, you know, it, we, we've identified five key points for, for zone of success. Mm. But it really isn't rocket science, mm. you know. If you're shopping outside your league. Uh, if you take a selfie and, uh, you know, it, it just doesn't look like you belong together, uh, you know, uh, it probably isn't real. Not that it can't be, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and, and if you're here, uh, living here, for one thing, that's a game changer. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it is. Uh, because, uh, why is, you know, let's talk about that for a minute. Because you and I, in particular, have been pretty pretty darn lucky. Well, that's what it is. Well, and why have we been so lucky? Are I, we I think the biggest thing that? is, I think the biggest thing is, you know, we've, we've got experience of the scams ourselves that we're carrying with us. Yeah. And then secondly, we're making um, um, uh, a good educational experience for ourselves mm -hmm. by learning the culture better. Yeah. Uh, and once you learn the culture better, it does make it easier for you to accept mm -hmm. that there is this zone of success, as you put it, yeah. um, and, uh, and once you get realistic, uh, it works for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And would you say also, Colin, that uh, being, you know, living in Ukraine, you see the bad girls, you see the good girls, you understand the behaviors of the good girl. You um, understand... Uh, well, you understand both of them, because mm -hmm. if you understand the culture, you understand that even the scammers, the girls, mm -hmm. the scammers, mm -hmm. all right, um, 
they're doing it for a job. To them, it's just a job. Just a job. Um, yeah. And the unfortunate thing is it's been around in this country for so many decades now. Yeah. It's a normal part of their everyday yeah. life. Yeah, it's acceptable in the culture yeah. here. Is Everybody knows this mail-order bride industry yeah. exists. Yeah. Um, Which was perpetuated not by them. Not by them, by the scam agencies. Yeah, These exactly. big Goliath agencies. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, it's a good point. It's a job for them. Uh, I guess my point is uh, we've gotten good at seeing the ones that have a job yeah. and aren't really into us yeah. or into the client, the man. Yeah. Uh, it's just a job. Yeah. They behave much different than the genuine, real, serious girl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The other big reason that some guys can find the girls and that others can't is they don't know where to look. You know? Um, to find the good ones. Well, yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, um, it's it's not exactly ones. like they're standing there on a you know on a on a pylon saying, Here I am. Mm -hmm. You know, you gotta go you gotta wade through a, a plethora mm -hmm. of of minefields, Ten, you know. Um, tens and tens of thousands yeah. of women online. Yeah. And you've uh, got to fight hundreds and hundreds of um, agencies online and mm -hmm. you've got to be able to find a good one. And how do you know that it's a good one? Mm -hmm. That's the problem. That's the hard part. Mm -hmm. uh, well, you got to convince yourself that, firstly, is writing emails the right way to go? And mm -hmm. what, n almost all of them exclusively push this email factor, write emails, write emails, and that's just wrong. You know, that's just it's completely a great tip wrong. Because, <clears throat> really, if the agency's charging you for writing emails, or letters as they call it, mm -hmm. it's a scam company. Yep. Yep. Almost 100% of the time, so that's a great mm -hmm. tip. Mm -hmm. um, any other tips? How you ch how do you find a good agency? Because you need to find a good, honest agency that specializes in finding good, honest girls. How do you how do you vet the agency? What tips do you have? It's hard. It's really hard. Um, um, you know, I think I think the quality of the ladies mm -hmm. um, um, is the big giveaway. You know, mm -hmm. if you're looking at all these hotties forever looking at hotties, 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 uh, you know, that's a, mm -hmm. it's, the, it's the hook, as you put and, it. And I think you just stumbled upon uh, one of your tips, and that is if all of the pictures of the, are them, or if there's pictures of them scantily clothed in bikinis oh, and yeah. stuff like that, is that real? The no. real Ukrainian girls, serious no. ones? No, most like of them don't own bikinis. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, they, they certainly don't display themselves in public no. dressed in a... A no. bikini on the beach. Mm. Uh -huh. Good girls. Yeah. So that's, you know, the fashion exactly. professional photo uh, photographs. Uh, it, it's a giveaway, but not exclusively. But it is a it is a give um, a giveaway. That's for sure. Yeah. Um, but there's so many things. There's so many little things that if you're not aware of them, you still don't know that you're with a good agency. I mean, yeah. if you speak to a manager, you speak to a supervisor. He is going to do nothing but assure you. Yes, we're well, really right. a good agency. We are the best. Of course we are. Yeah. You know? In fact, we you've talked to you've talked to a lot of foreign men yeah. with us uh, in our complimentary coaching calls. And what, what what do they tell you about other agencies? Well, they tell they tell me exactly that. They tell me that they've spoken to a manager or a supervisor of the particular girls that they were interested in, mm -hmm. and they've been assured, mm -hmm. you know, of the absolute one hundred percent guarantee that these girls are real. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And we have a hundred percent zero tolerance scammer policy, right? Mm -hmm. yep. Agencies have that a lot, mm. and <laughs> and what's backing that? Yeah, nothing. So, yeah. Basically, as I would say, it's shark-infested waters big yeah, time. It is. It uh, is. And um, uh, one tip, I think you would agree. You gotta, you gotta be boots on the ground. You gotta come here. You, you can't yeah. tell online. Yeah. I mean, if there, if there is that one big shortcut, um, it's get rid of the emails, full stop, and make that initial connection with a good agency, with some nice ladies, mm -hmm. just that initial connection, and get your ass here, as you put it, get your ass here. Yeah. In Australia, we say get your ass here, <laughs> all right? Yeah. Uh, because there's nothing better than a face-to-face, -face, than a three-dimensional, real, live person. Yeah. Um, and if you're going to look for good agencies, you've got to be put your getting your discerning shoes and you got to sit and talk to the owner or the manager and you just got to just feel if it's real or not ask them show me the uh, marriage testimonials you know you have pictures can i talk to people can i talk to successful couples and just really uh be skeptical that's great sage advice colin why some guys get the girls most don't